Hello. Welcome back to uh, the stream. That's right, I'm working. Yep. So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to be building another model kit. Uh, hopefully, this time all the audio and stuff is working. To play around the settings a lot better, so it should be. Uh, well, yeah, it should have much for an audio this time. Uh, so for this kit, I'm going to be building the Red Arrows Nat from Airfix, another starter set. So the Nat is the precursor to the Hawk. It's yeah, basically what um, all these used before that. I don't know if they actually got. And sometimes they include like a little, little history of the aircraft, but well, I guess it's 1960s on it, so yeah, quite an older aircraft. But Get into it. Really, really tight. So that's it for the sprues. Mm -hmm. A bunch of stuff on the top here. Paint, glue, and a paintbrush. Well, this kit's sitting around for a bit. I don't know what condition we are. All the clues and stuff are in. So we've got 22, 19, 11, and 65 or 85. I guess there's 85 on the box, so yeah. So most of it's going to be red. I think some of the cockpit interior is going to be using. Things like colours. Scissors quick. They're a little bit smaller than I was expecting. But it is a 172 scale kit. Looks like it's possibly warped a bit. Oh wow, well, yeah. That one's really warped. Got it flashing on the pilot there. Everything else seems to be okay though. So I don't know if that's just oil or if that's... I'm going to pick that up, but... 
There's gonna be something on the canopy. I'm not gonna even screw holders today. Get out of the way. Go. All the water slide decals. Water instructions. Yeah, last time I'm actually going to use my Revel contact just because it's got the precision nozzle on. These little ones I don't really, really like too much. Pretty basic. So I'm guessing this must be an older kit compared to the Hawk one then, because that was a lot more detailed with the instructions. Looks like black paint on the interior. Black paint on the boots. 19 is the red on the flight suit. Look at the box. I would say white on the helmet, and maybe if I can get some black on there, I can do that. Color. Start painting them. Yeah, just double checking it is a uh, skill level one set. So. Shouldn't be too surprised it's this simple. They come up nice and easy. So that's just dry fit. See how much that tail has warped. But I can glue that together, that will hold on very well. All well, back to the a little warped, I think. I may just sand it down a bit as well. Balls. There we go, that goes together a lot better. Don't have any water yet, hold on.
So I've got some water now I can clean my brushes with because these are acrylic paint so they get cleaned with water. BGM stopped. Not boding well. Not just the coloration of the uh, of the pot, but also the fact I'm struggling to get it open. This might have dried up. Oh no, I'm good. It needs mixing a bit, but. Oh, that's okay. Um, a toothpick out to mix with. It's tracking the lid trip down first. I might as well open the others and make sure they're okay. Pull them to sit so they can drip down a bit. Get painting then. So, it's the interior section, basically where the seats are going to go. I'll pull the lid on this one. Just going to use the paint that's in there. Let go so I can hold on to the actual part of painting. I guess it doesn't really matter how much I do because it's all going to be. In the interior. Going to about 
the Kind of is coming back there, so it's not really going to matter. Plus, the seat's going to be there, so I don't need to worry too much about going too far back. for that side. Let's do this one now. Do the seals in here. I think the top's going to be all red. Little ledges here, which will be visible. Yes, yeah, need to be flagging. It's not too clear on the instructions, really. of that side with the uh, black seals as well. Issue now. Hold on. I guess. Ready the pilot. Get a fire out for this one. Yeah. 
the big file here for it's actually a nail file it's a bit too big for this one By the way, since the last time I did this, I've changed the setup slightly. So now the overhead camera I had attached to the table it directly. Now I bolted it to the display camera I got just the side of my table. So hopefully, when I jolt the table around, the camera won't be uh, going with it. Uh, yeah, doing that completely flat, in which case, I'll use the mail file for that one. Gets the material down a lot faster. as good as I'm going to get it. Some flashing on the other side still. that up but need up as best I can so just notice that the instructions say paint the boots black but there are no boots since I stopped just before that so I think it's going to be a red flight suit and a white helmet maybe black visor cover the black last so I'll do the red light suit first I think I'm going to need the next one first I've still got the red from the from the hawk, although it just knows it has a different colour code. Pick up some of the excess paint from this. There's that. You don't want too much paint on your brush when you're painting because otherwise it just hides all the details.
to worry about doing the bottom there because that's going to be in the seat, so you won't see that. The face is painted as well. That's going on quite watery, so probably going to need to do a second layer. Let's dry for a moment. I'm going to work out where these two are. Are they supposed to be these? They must be. But they don't come out nearly as far. I'm just going to work out what colour they need to be because it doesn't actually say. But you know, the camera picks this up. If you look on the box, there's a red bit on the end, and then it looks like it's white on the interior, or maybe grey. Um, I think because the rest is all red, white, and blue, I think I might go with white on those ones. Get the white over with then. The pot is still waiting to dry. I think the white paint is actually a little dried up. Be able to mix it back up. You know what? That's actually mixing up not too bad.
get these painted white. Actually, do I want to? Anyway, let's fire these down first. Look, little circles on there. I'm presuming that's the side that's actually going to be visible. too big. And this one is it's not actually covering all of the I'm gonna risk getting a channel in there. That's the best I'm gonna be able to get. It's definitely gonna be multiple coats. Then. The first time I discovered about painting parts while they're still in the sprue when you're assembling them or well, more to the point before you're assembling them was really revolutionary to me because I've been building kits since I was very young probably only about five or six maybe when I got my first kit and of course I just did the thing of assemble it all and then figure out how to paint it which meant yeah paint job was not too great and there's a lot of detail missing once I realised that uh, this is the way to do it you paint the stuff first and then you assemble it. That's when the quality of the, the uh, finished kit started to really improve for me. Speaking of really improving, a second coat has really You're doing a good job on that. I was thinking there's maybe to be a third coat, but actually, I mean, given as well that's going to be inside the canopy, I think two's going to be fine for that. again I'm trying to figure out the seats and the stuff what I might do I've got this grey here although silver grey but what is it supposed to be it's just one there's a metallic the nozzle okay or do I want a dark grey on the so on this interior bit and then also on the seats. So I'm 
something I want to do. It doesn't actually specify on there what the where the interior is supposed to be. It's got the 22 on the rim around the canopy, and then I can just see a bit that's supposed to be red on there. They've indented it. It's going to be really tough to paint. Yeah, the inner parts are 11 of the nose spike and the exhaust. Yeah, I think we go off the box art. That's supposed to be more of a matte grey. I think it's time to break out my existing paint collection. Let's see where that's grey. Dark stone, maybe. Oh, uniform grey, that's probably going to be more like it. Or ash grey. Again, going to the box. Looks like a darker colour, so I think. Yeah, I think Ash Grey's going to be a bit too light. Uniform, I think, is going to be just right for the. like these parts. And then. I'll go with Dark Stone for the ejector seats, just to highlight them a little bit better. If I do the dark stone now, actually, oh, I've got the. Okay, I don't have a mixing ball in that one, so let's get one out. I hope this doesn't spill too much. Okay, should be able to hear mixing the microphone. Okay, maybe not OBS is showing there's no audio when I do that. I think the uh, NVIDIA AI filtering I've got on is doing a bit too good of a job. Hopefully that should be enough. Did I get one in this one already? Yeah. A lot thicker actually, it's taking a lot longer to do. I might. Oh, I think I'm going to put this in a paint mixer. This is quite simple. I'll just get it on camera. With this, you just put your paint in and then it'd be nice and mixed up then, especially with the mixing ball already in there. Do it for dark stone too, just to be sure.
Should be nice and mixed. Yeah, I don't want to do it for the smaller paints because I don't think those pots are really big enough for that. Um, right, where was I? Now I check the seats. the mixing palette for this. Oh, a bit more than I wanted. We're going to have a lot more watery than I was expecting. There's going to be another multi coat. Do a second coat of the yellow, oh, not yellow, white. And I'm kind of tempted at this point to just use my only paint or white paint, which I know is going to be better, but I want to challenge myself to try and stick to the included paints wherever possible. It's too thick of a layer. in fresh water in a moment. This is getting dirty now. Change the water while it's up dry. Hard to tell if this paint is actually dry on the, uh, the pilot because the white's definitely not. Yeah, I think it's just a really glossy paint. So it still looks kind of wet, but touching it, it's definitely feeling it's kind of dry. That one's definitely drying well, though. Get a second coat of that.
That's going to be a third coat. Possibly even a fourth. So okay, because we've got plenty of paint out. Now that I'm missing paint, it's only going to go to waste anyway, so might as well use it all up. Basically, we just work doing the exterior paint as well at this point. Let's get all the red on here. It's worth maybe waiting until I've got it all glued together. I think the red is dry on that, so I'm going to have a go. Doing the white of the helmet. All this off camera just so I can see a lot better. second coat but I think it's doing okay I might see where I can get more white on this although I think it's pretty dry yet I think I might just leave that one coat. I think that might kind of be enough for that. As I'm sure that's dry, I'll get a black coat on just to do the cover on the visor. I'm going to start probably next before doing more assembly. So, getting the rest of these painted. And so, 
Yeah, we're all kind of ready then, so I can just cut them off and assemble them when ready. Just go in there then. Decals. Got a bit on the red, red set from the white and blue. It's going to be a, quite a pain to get together actually. Just put the separate as well. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a fiddly one, but at least they're all small, relatively small parts, whereas the Hawk was a lot of really long ones you have to try and line up, which is a bit of a pain. It's not quite dry yet. Do another coat on the seats though. Because they're pretty much dry. Be the last coat. Mm. I need a little bit more in here. All right, that should do it for the seats. The white paint's still a little sticky on the helmet. Otherwise it should be more or less dry. Don't know if I'm ready to try painting that just yet. I'm waiting then I'll get painting on the red parts. red as well. Yeah, there'll be a few coats on those. 
Tools. I think those are only silver, so it'll just be stabilizers now. You can know these are the main wings. Those are the stabilizers. Get a couple more coats on that should be look, look a lot more solid. I'm just going to do one side of each to begin with and then flip them over when they're dry. Start on this as well. The nose for now, just sort of something dry to actually hold on to, and you know, not get my fingers all covered in paint.
three, not going on too well. Have a look how it should sort that out. It might just be because it's going straight onto the plastic, it's not because I've not primed it. And it's not really got much to grip onto at the moment. So I do try and get the black onto the visor now. Very tough to do. best paint job but it's a pretty small miniature and you're not going to see too much detail unless you're like right up close anyway so I think I'm going to leave it at that. Coat of white for these parts. Perfect. I think that's as good as I'm going to get that. That white paint just is not going on too well. I think that might also be the last that I need the white for. Double check. Down here silver. Wait, where's the... Okay, I didn't realise that little thing there was... Yeah, the nose, okay. Good to know. Yeah, so silver on that. Silver on that. It's black on the tyres. or else the white is going to be needed now. Uh, let's check the box. Oh, what, and there's a spruce. Oh, I suppose around the edge, if I want to do that detailing, which I don't know if I really do at this point. That's going to be so fiddly to try and paint on.
the something's just around the canopy at the moment. So close that off for now then. I need to take these off and need to the top. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna cut those off because those seats were bending. Actually, I'll use the brush cutters if I can. Yeah, I don't think I can remove that in there. Uh, let's get the raft knife out. The smaller one. Really not. It's quite. Enough. Should be a lot better. Yeah, I just tried to take it off. It was just bending at that part in the middle. Because I want it to bend here. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cut through. Chair off. It's the other. Yep, flashing to fire off. I've got some white paint on that, but as it goes, I need to repaint it anyway. She's looking pretty good already. So I'll get this one back out. seats finished. The red is dry on that now. Do a second coat of the red. So have a little bit more just in case. Do a third coat on those, I think.
one's next. Pretty sure that paint's not uh, too runny because that would have gone everywhere then. forward to get into the more advanced kits where I can I'm not challenge myself to stick with all the starter paints but actually use my own because these I don't like these paints maybe because they've been set out for a while so they might be just they dried up a little bit or something but yeah these are definitely not great to work with I've got for the um, I do the more advanced model kits. I've got a set of the Army Painter paints. It wasn't the full one, but it was I think the second biggest one. So I've got a very good selection of them. I don't know what the conversion chart looks like yet. I need to see if I can find a conversion chart online for the Airfix and Rebel 2. Or I guess Humbrol and Rebel 2 Army Painter conversion. solider but you can still see the brush marks Do the interior there separately. I might reuse the dark stone army painter because I don't think that's supposed to be black. But it doesn't really give you any guidance on what the interior colour for the the gear wells is supposed to be. the two these last sections then you can see the difference that the second coat has made
give her an opportunity to dry. I think the next thing will be to get our pilot into his chair. There, get my knife back. Best way to cut this one. He doesn't fit in there that well. I guess it's the best I'm probably going to get. Legs come quite far forward though. I guess that's what to uh, say. So. first part glued down. What I think I'll do is I'll finish the painting first and then I'll get the seats and these intake parts in. Yeah, so that will go in something like that then. Let the blue drives and fill the pilot still moving around a little bit as I was manipulating it. That's ready for another layer. How long actually do I have? I'd probably be the closest colour to pure red, but... A bit of glistening blood mixed in, just a... Or a dragon, actually dragon red might be a good one. But... I'll see how that goes with the humble starter paint that it includes. Yeah, these do prove to be too much of a no-go, then I've got other options. Maybe that's looking a lot better. Small parts, can't forget those.
larger set of scissors. Probably going to need another coat as well. It's looking. Yeah, they can, they can probably do another coat actually. I think smaller parts might be done, but these larger ones are going to need a little bit more. I've still got the underside of these ones to do. right now for me is to try and hold it in a position that's still visible to the camera but isn't also causing the, the ring light I've got to just completely glare off the paint because I can't see what I'm doing if I hold it like that. Is large each side. There we go, it's time to go a lot more solid now. A bit worried at first that it kind of looks a bit purpley for me, but the more layers I get on, the more solid red it's going, the more it's starting to look more and more like the actual colour it's supposed to be.
we go straight into another coat. Should hopefully be the last coat now. It's on that side. Also very rapidly getting through the red paint now. I think that's going to be that. That's side done as well. I'm going to. Okay, yeah, I would need to turn the kind of small parts too. Against some on the actual nose itself. Start getting that layered up. Rapidly getting through that red. Move down the side now.
I don't need to do these parts because these are going to glue into there, so I just need to do around the edges. That's it. Uh, leave that to dry a little bit longer. Oh, it's almost fully glued on, so I'll shift him over a little bit. At some point, I also need to start painting these and these. I'll wait until all the red is done. Because when I can start doing some assembly, and then these will go on once everything's actually put together. Give a little bit of instructions. The kid doesn't actually go on until literally the last two steps. So it's just the front fuselage and those finished off now. Actually, will be dry or dry enough for me to get another coat on.
is down at the very end of the paint. Just going to have enough to finish off this. that moment to dry fully then. These are all the paints I got from the other kit and yeah they are all completely different numbers so yeah different paints used in each kit Get away with the light standing on that just to try and get rid of the brush strokes. They are pretty visible on the refined grit sandpaper, which I think I've got. fit this and see how that looks. I think I might need to touch up the paint a little bit. But otherwise okay that's I'm brushing a bit more red. Finish off the nose. a lot more solid colour wise anyway Off, I guess. I'm done painting these. To be honest, I don't think the knife really did anything there.
give that moment to dry, I'm going to quickly step away and get the curtains closed and some lights turned on so I actually see a lot better in here. better. So a bit more red paint. Let's get that and that touched up and I think a bit more on the nose there. That one thing needs another one. All those ones done now. Might be done for the red paint on the fuselage. What I might do, in fact, is leave the red paint for now. Close that one off. Do some touch ups after, as needed. Otherwise, I think that's going to be all I'm going to need. Should just give that a chance to fully dry off. these off now.
think. Probably get interior glued. It's going to go the gradient right up to the edge, so. Actually, I just said interior glued, I mean interior painted. Oh, that, that came out a lot better than the other one. Because you've got a nice little blob there, which is all I need for this. There's not much that's going to be in this lighter grey. You're going on a lot nicer as well. It's still going to be a couple of coats, but. It's going a lot more solid. Perhaps because I've already got some red on there, it's got something to actually bite onto. dry for a little bit. A little bit of paint on my t-shirt but I think I can't even wash this. It's just a tiny little bit. Yeah, already that does look a lot better. Dude, that's just solid now. Zami paint to paint is just so much nicer to work with. To be fair, I've got the proper Umbral ones or proper revel ones, then might be a different story. I think it's because these are just little starter pots and they've been sat around for a while, they're just not in the best condition. Everything.
Flip over a little bit, but I can touch that up later. I need to get some tweezers out because this next bit's going to get a bit fiddly. Sorry, these small bits are all glued in place. To do these ones first so I can make sure I can move them in place with the seats. We go on that size, this is one. Try right, fit them to see how well they actually go in. Grab it. Goes in somewhat like that. I think it's genuinely as far forward as it goes. Get a little bit of glue it's inside of it. It was so messy, so fiddly. in place. Now for the next side. It's actually going a lot easier because I don't have the easier. I don't have these things to maneuver around. But glue did rub off a bit on the inside. There's a little bit. See some markings in there but I'm just going to call that weathering and uh, be done with it. Our pilot in. He will go in there. I have to remove some of the paint. So then I might have messed with the tolerances a little bit.
see what that does. together. I think pull that one down. So I'm just gonna glue it in where it is. I think I should hold the thing in place. Looks like it's welding, so that's good. I'm gonna clean this one up as well. Oh, this lot is so difficult to pile down. in position so glue these down so what this boss iron cement is going to be doing here is it's going to be creating a chemical reaction with the actual starry material and basically it breaks down the molecule chains in both parts of the plastics and then once the reaction finishes, it will re-solidify as one part, as so it basically is referred to as a chemical weld. So that's why glues with this stuff is a, a lot stronger than with, say, super glue, because it's literally fusing the plastic parts together, whereas super glue is just creating a boundary layer that holds them together. Just putting these together for a test fit. Going together nicely. Get the mixing pot out of the way. That's basically step one done now. So we're going to step two. As you know, I've got to still sort of glue the halves together, don't I? I just noticed they've got port and starboard printed on the inside. So that's done. Blew up these holes. All the places where they're going to be joining together. I'll leave the tail for now because that's going to be a bit more work to, to do. Mm. 
Yeah, you see how much the tail on that side is bent out of position. That should be like that. Oh, I just, just moved the seat out of the way while I was trying to get rid of a little glob of glue. It's going to be too difficult to stick in there. It's already together solidly. Could do it perhaps sanding down the seam just to smoothen it out a bit. In the meantime, I'm waiting for that to pretty set. Just go in here. Bit. Do so, uh, all these down a bit. Rear stabilizers there. Let's see if I can get this tail sorted. Does finish it off. Oh, these down a bit. There's another one. about that edge because it's going to be on the inside. So I think I should go in this way. There we go. Should go on the other one. Starting to already take shape. It's 
is actually keyed or are they? Nope. So yeah, you gotta make sure you get the rings the right way around because this is definitely it's definitely not the right way around. Really, the van huge will not die huge on these. so the glue can really bond the parts together. in there but otherwise okay. The, uh, get the stabilizers cut off. Quite a bit of filing down. Yeah, let's use the smaller one because I took a bit of paint on the edge there. Flashing on the inside to remove that as well. So that should be that side, I think. No, that'd be this side. Quite as much flashing on this one. It's not as much cleanup needed. Okay, so yeah, that goes in there. Let's glue these down. Touch up on the paint. Make sure they're all a bit seamless. Yeah, 
bit more glue in there just to strengthen the, oh, not the camera. Just making a joint in there. from the canopy then which I'm going to do is the, the very last thing with all of the oh, step two done so I can finally move on to step three which is going to involve more painting Get some glue in this bit just so that's something a bit more flush. We do a bit more glue on the back as well. is reacting I just need to hold it in place while it actually bonds now once the reaction's finished like I said before it'll be one solid part so it'll be a very strong connection Soften it and make sure that it's definitely all bonded in place. So I'm going to get some paint in here as well. Get it all painted before I start pushing all the covers on. I also need to start painting the gear. I was going to start mixing this one. One way for this to set. Get on that. I think all the metallic paint is dried up in that one. Don't think I'm going to get anything out of that. Still drying. bother with the metallic on that so I'm 
the metal maybe. Shows it as a kind of lighter metallic colour, so maybe so I've got plate metal and shining silver as well. I think that kind of seems like the one to go for actually. Yeah, I think I'll try that. I think that should be dry enough. Just get my shaker back out. I'm going to hold it off the table just so it doesn't go. Yeah. Doesn't cause vibrations to go downstairs. A bit more for good measure, and then just a little bit there. The gear then, or the, the gear struts anyway. Just going straight on. I think I was going to do dark grey on that, so... I don't actually know what colour the interior of the gear was is, is it was supposed to be. I'm thinking about dark grey though. Is there any of that left? Looks like there is. Let's take off some of the excess paint. Doing touch ups anyway. Put it on that side for those, otherwise, they're fine. I'll get some grey around the, uh, or some silver. So, second on these now, anyway. Basically done.
try and beat it to the ghost. Maybe a couple more coats. We also need to get I like onto this as well. Get the wheels painted next. Be that way for any uh, splashes. I'll probably do it for the tyres then. Get the interior of the wheels done silver as well. Most cool. We didn't get any paint anywhere. Let's do another build on the exhaust.
actually be done. I think two layers of two coaches is all I'm going to need on that. So I'm going to go at the very wells for this the gear. I want to leave the nose bits to the end as well. Just get the gear and that sorted now. Now I'm going to do gear down configuration. So that's what I need 27 here. So 21 is when you've got the gear closed. Tweezer job. Fall off the edge just so it's a bit flusher. It's just in the edge of a little bit of it. Actually goes into the yeah, well. A bit easier like that. Just leave clearance to do the main gear. Also the nose gear, which is 26. This one. Uh oh, that's gone flying. I don't know if I want to get a torch because that's on the floor and I can't see it. Still no sign of it. I'll sit in there. Just go on there. We then is glue the 
gear in place first. Should it then hold the actual door in place. I might as well glue the other gear struts in as well. Yeah, hold them down this time so they don't go flying. That's 31, that's 30. Thirty one should be on this side. Thirty. Yeah. Need to bar these ones down a little bit. Too bad. Uh, the hole is definitely gone up though with paint. He's coming a bit loose there. He's not fully set while well, I'll try and manipulate all of this. Okay, that one's gone in. Blew that one, that main gear in place. Which is where it's, yeah, that's where it's supposed to go, so. A lot of glue there. Top this one up. Just leave that to set. Gotta wait for that. Some more silver paint there. Metallic paint. I think the insides, the rims of the um, the tyres, just so so solid. Not the cleanest job, but it will do for now. I can get the 
door for the nose gear in place. It'll glow a glue on the uh, more bottom where it goes in and then straight around. Hold in there. Okay, yeah, let's continue filing this down just so we'll actually go in. It's kind of going in now. Good enough for me to get some glue in there. We'll leave that for now. Right, what's the last bits I need? So, two sides of the wheels to get onto the nose. You could be these two. Main gear to get on there. That's going to be these covers. So, I've got front ones and then side ones, it looks like. I feel like the side covers don't even go on at all. Interesting. Obviously there's no completed picture with the gear down. All the pictures are gear up. It's not particularly helpful. A bit more black paint on them. It's definitely going to be a tweezer job. A little bit of paint.
for it to dry. Uh, I'll get these ones off. Which side? I'll leave them off for now. You know, it doesn't matter which side they'll go on the wheels, but make sure I follow the instructions. Pretty sure. I will get a circular file out just so I can poke some holes throughout where it is. Need to re poke the hole in the middle of this because the paint put in there. So these are the two that are going to go on the front here. It's 32, which is on that side. Look at how these actually go on, is it like that? Be like this. Let's get the wheels on anyway. nose gear on. on this side. Now I need to repoke the hole on this one. Going in there at the moment. I'm not too worried about the 
the white flats on the top because they're I'm gonna put those down so you actually see them when it's when it stood up. These are a lot looser. More glue in there. And then yeah, I guess it's to figure out. Kinda of looks like that should go on out of maneuver this. Looks like that should go on like that. Looks kind of right. Also, a little out of alignment. It's the other one. Let's do this one by hand. Tweezer a bit fiddly. I'm debating whether we even bother with the decals today. It's getting quite late now. I can't wait to finish up. But I do have a proper more decal fix now. Which I do want to kind of try out. Get some red paint touch ups. Unfortunately, I don't want to put it on the main gear at the moment, it's still a bit unstable. I 
tempted to just leave the decals until next time because I don't get the next kit. Hold on. This is the next kit I'm going to be doing. Voice and Seeking Search and Rescue, uh, RF Search and Rescue version. So this is a skill level 3 kit. I can see that. Okay. This is a much more difficult one. It does have all of the brushes and paints and everything still inside. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a much more difficult kit to do. Much more. There's a lot more to it, a lot more detail. It's going to take. This is definitely going to be a multi stream kit, so. I think it's going to be best to just leave this here for today. And then next stream, I'll finish this off, do any more touch ups. I might need a little bit more paint. I'll probably get the canopy done and then, yeah, do all the decals. And then once that's done, I can then move into the the seeking kit. Yeah, I guess that's that for today then. So we've made it this far. Thanks for watching. I really do enjoy making these kits, as uh, you can hopefully tell. I did post a picture on Twitter earlier uh, showing off my stash and the uh, large amount of kits that I've currently got. So don't worry, there'll be a lot more of these. This is going to be a stable recurring thing now. Every single Thursday I'm going to be doing a model kit. Uh, so, yeah, tune on Thursdays and uh, more model kits. I'll be streaming again on Monday. I don't know what I'm going to be streaming on Monday just yet. That's going to be my variety day now. So it's going to be changing up a bit. Wednesday next week will be the final part of Halo Reach and because there's only one mission left most likely it's going to um, be the final mission and then also going straight into some firefight after that just fill out the rest of the two hours start streaming time slot. And yeah like I said next Thursday finishing this off and then getting into the next kit which will be the um, Search and Rescue Seeking. So yeah, have a fun time trying to title that stream and thumbnail it, but maybe uh, I'll break it up into two parts. I don't know. I'll have a think about it, but yeah. Um, uh, by the way, I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you next time.